Well, Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. Well, technically, it's, well, it's December 29th, but by the time you're watching this, it's New Year's Eve. But, you know, I'd like to, I would just want to make this a little bit early because, you know, I feel like I probably would have some other shit to do on New Year's Eve anyways. But today we're going to be reviewing a very special toy to end off the year. Um, I got this earlier this year, I think mostly for a graduation gift or maybe like an early graduation gift or maybe for even a birthday gift. I don't really know. I mean, my birthday and my graduation were around the exact same time. So who knows? It could, it could have been both. Um, but today is a very special, um, we're reviewing a very special toy. If you guys did not see the poll and all the other, and all the stuff that was on there, you had run draft run, you had, uh, what else was on there? You had the VV way machine, the Orca one, Van Gogh. Apparently that was been on eBay for a long, for a lot lately. Apparently I got one. Um, and a bunch of other stuff too, including a very special item, which, you know, I'm surprised nobody actually, uh, really voted on. Instead, you guys wanted this specific toy. Um, but yeah, for those who do not know, yes, I do have this toy. Um, it is none other than the Unicorn Clock from Baby Mozart. Yes, I was never really expecting to actually get one of these, actually. Um, literally out of all the toys, uh, let me just... There's sunlight in the way, but out of all the toys from Baby Mozart, this is definitely one of them that I was would never really expect uh, to see in my room. Um, maybe besides like the Mini Orbiter, because it's like impossible to find, or the Country Train, because that's just that's just too fucking large. Maybe a few others, but this is definitely one of them. This is like I don't know, probably like the more impossible one to find, just like the Mini Orbiter. However, you guys could just get this one on, like, a Greek website, even though I'm pretty sure, like, not really everyone can do that. Only, like, very few Pacific smart people can do that. Although, if I'm considered smart, why am I not in the official BE Discord server? Of course, it's because it's run by a bunch of uh, wackos who can't even get their brains straight. Hmm. But anyways, um... The Unicorn Clock, uh, for me Mozart, this is the right one. As we all know that there are two versions, at least, maybe, actually, I think there's multiple versions out there, depending if you count the, uh, the ones with different variation of arms, but really, there's just only three versions out there. Uh, there's the original, well, let's just go with the, um, original one with the arms, like this. Um, there's also one where I think the star is differently positioned. Um, and of course we can't forget about the unicorn clock, uh, the unicorn of the clock itself. Uh, there are at least three different versions. One, the one be with the unicorn horn being orange. Another one being red. And, uh, the third one, well, the third one's actually on the box, actually. It's kind of crazy this is an image that i never would have expected to see in my life look at this there's this is the box right perfectly in good condition right here and uh look at the look at the unicorn on this one like what the fuck like what kind of an eye is that unless if that's unless if that's supposed to be like one without an eye right do they uh do they forgot to do that if I take this eye off, would it literally look like this? Or is that how the eye literally looks? In any case, it does have a red horn, so... You know, it's basically the exact same one, I believe, that, uh... I think, uh, both Jagger and Sam have. Um... Yeah, so, it just says motion clock. Um... Soft, no fear of water, intelligence, and fancy. Well, yeah... No shit, it's fancy as fuck. Come on, it's one of those foam moving clocks. Come on, they're like one of the best things in the world, besides kinetics. Um, Imagine Factory, Avenue Star. And that's the, uh, that's the website that I got it on. www.studiopapagalogalopapagalo.gr or are these just other websites where you can actually get the unicorn clock off of? I don't know. I'll have to check that out. In case they don't really say anything on the back. And they also, it just says motion clock. Made in Taiwan. So this is basically the same country that makes all those kinetics. Ages four and up. 
doesn't really say any Pacific company on it, so could have been made by that Hanna K Core company, or it could have been made by um, some other company. Who knows? <laughs> All I know for a fact is that the first one who got it, which was Sam, got it around the exact same time I got the Magic Clock in 2018. So having two of the most iconic foam clocks in BE being bought around the exact same time is just insane. With Sam, of course, getting the Unicorn Clock, which is commonly, you know, you could just get unless you have the money. Um, and then, of course, me with the more impossible Magic Clock. You know, I got it in Greece, and that was just a pain in the ass to get. Literally everyone to this day still doesn't believe me about the fact that you can't just, like, Greece has pay, um, has a pay, um, ugh, I'm lost words right now. Uh, Greece has a poor paying system out there. Like, it's not easy to get shit from Greece, all right? Do you know how much, uh, processing I had to go through to get that shit? That clock was just fucking expensive. It was 80 fucking bucks. And I'm still looking for the original one from Baby Bach out there. But, um, yeah. Uh, doesn't really say anything on the bottom, really. I don't really want to risk, uh, showing the bottom, though, because I don't really want to break this. I don't want to have to pay, like, $80 or whatever to get another one. But this one does work. But it obviously, it does work in perfect condition. I love it a lot. Um, I it, This is this is definitely worth it to me, about, like, the 60 or whatever bucks. Um, and honestly, I would love to see this actually... I would love to see them actually bringing this back in stock. Because that would definitely be a treat for me. If they actually did that. Same thing goes with the unicorn, um, the, the uh, magic clock. Maybe the race car clock too, who knows. But, you know, at least I do have the original phone clock from BE. And I'm just happy to have it. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's really anything else specific. I don't think they came with instructions or anything, did they? Oh no, they did. <laughs> So this is actually another one of the foam clocks they had. It's like this uh, this dolphin with the party hat, I think, right? Is that a party hat? I, yeah, I think so. Um, but yeah, they def they also came with uh, they came in uh, with instructions of how to assemble the clock. Hilariously. Oh, and I think this is also to put, like, the hands on, so. Once again, they have no company on them. And they want to keep their company a secret. <laughs> Maybe their company was owned by the government or something. Who knows? <laughs> oh, jeez. We all know uh, what Greece is like. Greece. The, uh, um... The country with the uh, very expensive foam clocks that are definitely worth getting because they appeared in old Baby Einstein videos. Oh, I could definitely relate to that story a lot. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything else to say here. Um, about that very special toy that I was, that I put in the poll. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll actually do a review on that on the first year of, uh, 2023. Who knows? Or maybe I'll wait until my birthday. I mean, I feel like some of you guys already know what it is anyways, but, or at least most of you, but literally for those who do not know, go back to my New Year's live stream, go around to like the 17 minute mark and just wait until when, uh, when I react to like saying, when I said like, <gasps> fuck no, oh shit, oh fuck. Like that right there, you're probably, probably wondering what the fuck with what I was reacting to. Well, that was basically the very special toy review that, I'll probably get to eventually. But until then, this is Cameron C signing out for the very last video of 2023. And I'll see you all in uh, 2023, basically. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys all had a good year. And I'll see you guys in 2023. See ya.